Peace out, Harmony, my rose buds. Okay, what's good? What's popping? Okay, welcome back to my channel. Okay, if you're new to the channel, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Okay, make sure you um tell somebody to tell somebody to tell somebody. Okay, but um, anyways, yes, <sighs> it's a beautiful day, a beautiful day to discuss trauma. <laughs> I should not be this excited to talk about trauma. That's bad. <laughs> but why does trauma have to be so sad, right? We feel we go through trauma honestly on a daily basis. You know, we experience trauma. Trauma, 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 just force, 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 you know. We experience these things. I don't know if they hunking at me or them, but I know yeah, they ain't doing it. I feel like when you somebody hunking, they like they bucking at you. Don't buck at me, you know, don't do that. <laughs> what? <laughs> but anyways, um, gotta bring it down because sometimes I'll be up here and I gotta come back down. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, trauma. This is something that needs to be discussed so bad for many people. This needs to be discussed because we experience this more often than not, you know, and so many families experience trauma and don't address it they don't um they don't say anything you know they just kind of like trauma uh, let it roll on off the shoulder and keep moving keep pushing and like blah blah blah, blah. and we got to stop doing that we got to start addressing it especially us as women and i'm sorry if y'all hear my air blowing in the back we in Georgia, honey you know it get hot it get hot <laughs> it's the humidity oh god that's why i don't wear makeup not about to catch me my face falling off okay <laughs> no shade to the women that wear makeup shout out to you though because you're beautiful but anyways trauma i was sitting here thinking about something and i'm like because first of all i'll be driving journaling at the same time like every time i stop i journal drive every time i stop journal like all that i'll be doing all that the girl be multitasking what <laughs> But anyways, addressing trauma, coming back to earth. Hello, Rose, come back to earth, okay? Um, manifesting trauma, what is that? That's creating trauma before it happens, right? You're literally, your thoughts create your reality. So it's kind of like, if I'm thinking of trauma before it happens, likely the trauma is going to happen it might not happen exactly how i'm thinking it but trauma is bound to happen because i've allowed trauma to enter into my energy into my thoughts into my energy um into my body so now we are having anxiety breathe that pranayama <laughs> so now we have to bring ourselves back to grounded and i'm writing manifesting trauma comes from being not being rooted manifesting trauma comes from not being rooted meaning not being grounded i had to think about that because i was thinking about something before it even happened i'm like why am i doing that where is this coming from and god was just telling me my intuition got god intuition same thing um was telling me you're not being rooted you're not being grounded and i was like oh my gosh if you want to stop manifesting trauma you have got to stop and get grounded i was about to say stop being <laughs> but you gotta stop you gotta stop and be grounded okay however that looks to you if that looks like walking um on grass if that looks like meditating bringing yourself to center taking a couple deep breaths and allowing that anxiety to exhale out of the body okay does that make sense because a lot of times we're tense because we're manifesting trauma we're creating trauma that has not even started or has never existed we're creating it in our mindset that's why when it comes to actually healing trauma especially womb related trauma as women when we have so much stored um stored because i feel like our mental and our womb 
work simultaneously simultaneously meaning if i'm thinking if i'm thinking straight or if i'm not thinking straight i'm sorry y'all got something in my eye eyelashes <laughs> real <laughs> i love me <laughs> but um yeah if i'm if i'm not thinking clearly if my mind if my mind my mental is clouded that means that my womb is not operating in its most optimal um power it's the most optimal source it's more optimal energy flow it that means that i need to do some deep cleaning okay deep cleaning can look like doing yoni seams women because we have to incorporate those and i have to, i'm talking to myself as i'm talking to y'all as well um yoni steams okay when you're doing these yoni steams you know like really like huh <laughs> like i don't know why i'm doing that but it's, it's i feel called to to do that you know wake her up wake her up you know talk to her you have got to it's, we're going to talk about healing womb trauma we gotta acknowledge the womb that it's here you know so wake up wake up wake up wake up and i'm not doing it hard if it sounds hard but just lightly like lightly tap you know come here and when you it's something about patting like taps on the body that brings you back to center it brings you back home so if we're we're fixing trauma dealing with trauma especially in a heart space women womb heart mind womb heart mind i feel like your intuition and womb is kind of like it's just there like your your intuition that's the god that's the god in you <laughs> as a woman that is the god in you all right you need to listen to your intuition okay um patting waking her up taking deep breaths and i feel pulled to come to my chest heart Heart work, heart work. <sighs> bringing back to center, back to self. If you want to bring yourself back home, want to do some self work, tap on your chest. Tap. Breathe slow. Even if your taps feel like they're speeding up, they'll eventually go down or lighten up but you tap bring back to your womb it's how you wake yourself up as a woman the woman inside you acknowledging her her presence this is how you bring um your spirit self how is it coming to me hold on This is how you connect to the soul. Bringing that soul up is how it's, it's, it's being, that's how it looks in my mind. Waking that soul, cause some of y'all souls is just like, it's just traveling wherever you are. And a lot of people need to do detoxes, parasite cleanse. Oh, I'm feeling it cause I need to do one myself. <laughs> I'm, I'm saying this stuff because I'm, I'm self, and I'm self evaluating. I'm I'm here with myself and I also feel called to share a message because so many people don't know that they're manifesting trauma but they are manifesting the trauma a lot of us don't even be experiencing a lot of things but because we have not dealt with our own internal um, traumas our own internal fears our own internal doubts it tends to manifest up here in the mind okay that's why mental health i'm a huge mental health advocate i don't care what age children adults i don't care i i advocate for your mental health because so much goes up here we have to understand this up here not what we see on the outside of us but what's going on here we have to bring it here home we have to bring it home wake it up like it, it look crazy it might sound crazy to the ones who get it they get it but you know what y'all i was gonna cut my hair this is so random off topic um 
I was gonna cut my hair, but I actually think I'm gonna keep it. I think I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> I've been, y'all, I've been fighting. Okay, I've been fighting to if I'm like gonna cut my hair. I am gonna cut my hair because I see myself cutting my hair, but maybe right right now. You know what? I'm gonna cut it. I'm just gonna shut up. <laughs> Coming back to center. <laughs> I love me. I love me. I love me. Coming back to center. Coming back to center. Okay. Y'all see how I got to come back? <laughs> I love that for me. <laughs> I'm so exciting. You see how I affirm myself randomly? Because I do it all the time now. It's habitual. It's habitual. And we got to talk about these traumas. But trauma does not always have to be sad. You know, I get excited about trauma because it's like, oh my gosh, I'm aware of this and now I can fix it. That's why I be excited about trauma. And I also understand that the traumas that we are going through are just experiences. You understand? They're just experiences. And because I identify that as experiences, I don't take it with me. So we also got to talk about letting go because I was on here too. I was going to make a separate video about that. But um, I'm going to make a separate video about that because that was going into something else. But yes, if this resonated with you, please drop a rose. If this um, opened your eyes to a different perspective because it does not have to be... Um, woman related because i know i have a i have quite a few male followers who follow me but even if you're a male follower this can tie into you because you have to un understand overstand understand your emotions as well you have to understand your traumas as well because we got to talk i wasn't gonna go here i wasn't gonna go here but um i was church i went to church sunday and um we was talking about Father's Day. You know, Father's Day was Sunday and everything. But I I already knew this. But it was confirmation for what I already knew. Men, we have got to get... I, it needs to be more stuff. See, I got to get more in, uh, in touch with more men when it comes to mental health. Bringing more awareness to men's mental health. Because the man is so vital to the household. To the household. He is, he is like... Did I write it in here? Because I, I wrote it down. No, it's not in this one. I think it's in the one. Oh, yeah, my hand ran. It's so pretty. It got pretty over the years. Because I used to write like chicken scratch. But the man, the father invests into his family. And if we don't have the man's mental health right. And this is why I advocate for women being better women on. Uh, why I got a gap here? This is why I advocate for women on my channel to be better women and how to be better women on a spiritual level because because that man the father is investing into the family it is very vital that us as women we nurture and take care of his mental space his spirit uh, we take care of his emotions we take care of him okay because we need that we are complementary to each other. We need the man in the household. And this is coming from a woman who is a single mother as well. And I've had so much spiritual growth, awakenings, enlightenments, whatever you want to call it. I've had so many of those over the past, ever since I had a child. <laughs> I had like, she about to be a seven. Woo! But, oh God, mom, where? <laughs> But anyway, it's not about me. It's about, it's about me. Um, the man is so important. Oh, you beautiful black men. I love y'all so much. Y'all are so important. It's not even funny. Okay? I've, I've said something about this in a, a previous video that I made about black men being the um being so vital and important more than women even know you know a lot of women move in a more self-centered and selfish world you know they're up here they're not here they're down here they're not there you know they're not i know women look good and they want this and that but women have got to come back to themselves spiritually holistically because um what we do as women as this beautiful gift that God has given each and each and every one of us goddesses, us empresses, um, 
every this intuition this this kind of complex way of being but it's still simplified into us just being humans um god has made us into this uh, i just it has no words it's literally a, a lifestyle it's literally just a being within you as a woman that this certain essence that you carry and it is this is why i preach so much on my channel about women being better women because if we are intact with our spirit and we're intact with God and we can hear God through our intuition. Our intuition is just a, a way to, hello, hello. <laughs> That's like me communicating with God, hello. That's like you have 24 seven access to God. And that's everybody, but uh, for women, for women it's different. For us to be co-creators with God, God made us to be able to birth nations. Y'all don't understand that. That is something big. We cannot downplay that. This is big. As a woman, you have got to understand that you are birthing the next damn. We're supposed to be living over 100 years old, but a lot of us ain't making it. Like, seriously, not trying to be funny because I know I'll be. I know I can be, but on some serious stuff, we are birthing the next people to come. The, re the next generations, the next nations, the next people who are going to take care of us, who are going to take care of the community. But how are they going to do that if they don't know nothing? What they say on it? That I don't know nothing. <laughs> That's when I fell in love with Jamaicans, Caribbeans. Oh, I love them. But anyways, um, back up here, back to center. That's why women need to get their spirits together. Women got to understand their power and how their essence, they can literally, it's showing up to me as a woman who is at this table and she just like, like a freaking magician. Like, you know, we are so magical. I can't like, words cannot describe what I'm seeing here. It's more of a feeling and it's more of a knowing. Women got to get to that level because we have to... If the father, the man is investing into this family, we as the women have got to nurture that family under his covering. Whatever he has and whatever he sets up, you are the woman that's being placed in there like, oh, okay, this is what I got going on right here. I like you so much that I want you to be inside of this pocket, this investment that I got going on. I want to pick you up and I want to put you here with me. And that is that says a lot because women got to understand what men go through to put these things together. And this is a spiritual, mental, emotional, well, not really emotional. They, they have it there, but it's, I feel like for a masculine, it's there not telling men not to deal with their emotions but they deal with it and it looks different for men versus for women we are emotional beings we are emotional creatures they like to say we handle it different we see it differently so um men is different so we have to help him to nurture that within him within his household within his family that's that's big to them why do you think they always say why do you think we take their last name why do you think and i know it's more of like a capitalistic type of thing but it's why do you think in other cultures men just can't come to women and be like oh i want i want to be with you 50 50 whatever whatever they have to in other cultures they gotta come with stuff they gotta come with animals land crops like they gotta come with stuff us here we don't we don't we don't want men to, it's like ugh. it's like men can come to women with what they have but women don't they don't see they don't see the value in that or they're looking at it as just like that's it you know they don't they don't vet these men properly they don't talk to the men they don't know what these men their mindsets are like they don't know what got them to that because for men although it may show up financially for them you got to start asking these men questions as far as their spirit because i feel like a man who has a good like going on his spirit is <laughs>